I'm gonna kill you! Most concealed carriers and church security teams carry this type of holster. It's a typical Kydex holster, no strap, just works off of friction. When it works off of friction only, this is a level one holster. It's also known as friction retention or retention level one. There's no security with this holster. This is great for concealed carrying and for tooling around town where you're only worried about yourself. But if you're working church security or you're working any other type of event or you're doing anything where you expect you might get in a fight, this is the worst holster to have. Now we went over to Boise Krav Maga, run by my friend and fellow church member, Bo Drocher. Bo got a couple of his guys in there to fight over a gun in different levels of retention. There's three different levels of retention. Again, level one, the one that you deal with all the time. There's also level two. Now level two is friction plus a restraint, such as a thumb strap, flip up strap or some kind of an automatic lock. This is also known as a thumb or a trigger finger release or duty rated level two. Now I want you to watch these two fight over a level one holster and see how quickly it is that you can get a, a gun taken away from you. Dang, that was quick. Okay, so as we can see, definitely not the safest in a fight, and you are more likely to get into a fight than you are to use deadly force, working church security, or even just as a concealed carrier. Now, level two, using that extra feature. I like this one. It's an alien gear holster, uh, just full disclosure. Alien Gear gave this to me at a conference I was at. I told them about my channel. They gave me a couple of holsters for free. I'm not an Alien Gear fan per se. I never really thought much about them. Uh, I got their holsters. I actually like them. Uh, this one, what I like, we'll show a close up here. It's got a thumb brake. And that thumb brake, so I can't just pull it out, no friction, but by releasing the thumb brake, I can pull out my handgun. So we had two Krav Maga students fight for the gun. They were not allowed to use Krav Maga. They could use jujitsu or whatever to go ahead and try and take the gun away. And you can see right here, they had a heck of a time fighting over the gun. Get away, Zach, get away, fight for it, Zach, get away from it. Oh, that's awesome. Keep fighting, keep fighting, Zach. Get off him, get off him. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Why are you still there? Get away, Zach, get away. <laughs> by just adding one retention level, going to retention level two, by adding that thumb break that we have here, the aggressor was unable to disarm the person with the handgun in a level two retention holster. Now this is the minimum holster that you should have when you're working any kind of a security detail or something where you're afraid that you might get in a fight with somebody. The one thing I dislike about this particular holster, this alien gear, it's got some sort of like a paddle attachment. The problem with this is, you see how it sticks out so much. But I can tell you right now, I can dress appropriately to make sure this fits. Now I'm not endorsing alien gear or any specific brand. I'll put a link to this in the show notes. I do believe, you can see between the two videos side by side, how quickly just a level, going from level one retention to level two retention, how much more you can secure your gun and how quickly somebody can get your gun from you if you just have level one, just that Kydex holster. I like that. And it's just that little thumb release.
This is a level three retention holster. Level three is the highest level you can go. This is made for open carrying. A lot of people when they open carry will just use that level one holster. And that level one holster friction only, it is ignorant, stupid. You should not be open carrying a level one holster. My recommendation, minimum level two, if you're open carrying, I would suggest doing a level three. It makes it much harder for somebody to get your gun from you, but yet you can still get your gun out quickly if you need to. And I don't wanna necessarily show the functioning of this and let every criminal know how to get that gun out of the holster. You can go buy one, but it takes two steps to get the gun out of the holster. But like, I've literally, I've never used this on duty, this particular holster. I've never used it on duty. Uh, it was given to me to evaluate. And you can see I can still operate it very quickly. It works really well. Full disclosure, this holster is an Alien Gear duty holster given to me by Alien Gear, a good Idaho company. I never gave much thought about I, uh, Alien Gear, like I, I told you. They gave this to me for free. There was no expectation of anything, no expectation I was going to give them a good good evaluation, bad evaluation. Just They gave it to me to evaluate, and uh, I can tell you I was not going to like it, but I like it now. The one downside of this is I can, with it locked up, I can reach my finger inside and well, that's my safety, sir. Pull the trigger. So that's an obvious, very bad drawback. I mean, you'll get one round out of it. That's it. And it would just go straight down your, your side. But if you were going to be open carrying with your gun visible, and some people like uniform security, or you just want to exercise your Second Amendment, this is what you should be carrying, okay? Don't be dumb. Uh, you can see, we'll do a side-by-side -side of a level three versus what most people carry, which is Kydex or nothing just a friction holster, um, you can see how difficult it is to get the gun away. Now, what was surprising with the students when they were fighting over the gun, they could not get the level two holster. They could not get the gun out of the level two holster. With this level three, we did it on two tries. One student was able to get it out after some work. The, sec the second student had a very difficult time trying to get the gun and we called it just because somebody was getting it out with some broken finger somewhere. And... <laughs> it's your time to repent. <laughs> Back away! Back away! It's a different hole. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Taking the belt off is one way. <laughs> 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 Can we go to a drive-in after this? <laughs> yeah, give me a kiss. Good job. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's a first. So those are the different levels of retention. My ultimate goal is to get you away from this when you're working church security. This friction holster. Okay, this is Bravo concealment. Very good holster for when you're concealed carrying and you're not gonna get in a fight and you're just cruising around town and you just want something that you can get quickly to defend yourself. That's what this is made for. It's made for concealed carriers. When you are working church security or you're expecting to get in a fight, you are not a concealed carrier, you're working security. You're working a detail. You're expecting to deal with a lot of problems. You need to protect your handgun. So be smart about your holster selection. I know a lot of people want it. They buy they buy the cheapest handgun they can find and then go buy some Uncle Mike's felt holster they bought for $5 at a gun show and then think they're good to go. You're not at all. You're going to get hurt. And you're going to get other people hurt too. So that's all I got for now. Remember, the most important thing out of all of this is remember your ABCs. Always be caring.